Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. Today we are going to discuss a problem from module 2 based on electromagnetic induction. We know there are two types of induced EMF, dynamically induced EMF and statically induced EMF. And here this question is an example for dynamically induced EMF. We know what is dynamically induced EMF, the induced EMF due to the movement of conductors. So the question is a conductor of length 1 meter so in the given data length is equal to 1 meter moves at right angles moves at right angles to a uniform magnetic field of flux density flux density means b we are representing flux density using the simple b flux density is equal to 1.5 bar per meter square with a velocity of 50 meter per second so velocity is equal to 50 meter per second calculate the induced emf in it also find the value of induced emf e when the conductor moves at an angle of 30 degree to the direction of the field direct application of formula in dynamically induced emf the formula to calculate induced emf is blv sin theta and in the question it has mentioned like right angles right angles means theta is equal to 90 degrees so in part 1 we need to find e1 which is equal to b is nothing but 1.5 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 50 multiplied by sin 90 sin 90 is nothing but 1 sin 90 is equal to 1 so the value will be 75 volt is the induced emf when the conductor moves at an angle of 90 degree then what about the second part e2 e2 is equal to we need to calculate the value of induced emf when the conductor moves at an angle of 30 degree direct application of formula here instead of sin theta we will put the value like sin 30 sin 30 we know the sin 30 the value of sin 30 is 0 0.5 that is 37.5 volt is the induced emf in the conductor and now if you have noticed this question this will be an example for statically induced emf we know what is statically induced emf here the emf will be induced because of the change in varying magnetic flux or change in magnetic flux the question is the field winding of a dc electromagnet is wound with 960 turns that is number of turns is equal to 960 and has a resistance of 50 ohm resistance is equal to 50 ohm when the exciting voltage is 230 volt that is we applied voltage is 230 volt the magnetic flux linking the coil is magnetic flux phi is equal to 0 0.005 Weber. Calculate the self inductance of the coil and energy stored in the magnetic field. Again, direct application of formula we know self inductance usually representing with the letter L. Self inductance L is equal to N phi divided by I. Here we have the value for N number of turns and phi is the flux the remaining part is i and we know how to calculate current i is equal to v by r v is equal to 230 230 divided by resistance is 50 ohm which is equal to 4.6 ampere 4.6 ampere so if we apply the values directly 960 960 multiplied by 0 0.005 divided by 4.6 is equal to 1.04 henry the unit for inductance is henry so in the second part we need to calculate energy stored in the magnetic field 
energy stored in the magnetic field e is equal to half l i square here we have the value for l which is equal to 1.04 multiplied by i is equal to 4.6 ampere which is equal to 11 joules 11 joules unit of energy is joules so this is an example for statically induced emf and this is an example for dynamically induced emf so i hope the concept is clear to you and this is a direct application of formula type of questions okay we will see within another lecture in the next video thank you